Well, I just told these students a chemistry joke, but there was no reaction. But it was good. Well, let's go check out the school. Hey guys, it's Kayla from Scola. Today, I'm at SciTech Charter High School, the Pico Union site, ready to go check out their awesome campus. Let's go. So I'm here today with Dr. Mims. He's the superintendent of SciTech. Thank you so much for having us today. Thank you for being here. Of course, so to kick us off, can you tell me a little bit more about your mission? Absolutely, so SciTech Schools really focuses on helping young people who left the high school without a high school diploma, get back into school, uh, complete their high school diploma, and then get into a college and career path. So we really want to re-engage young people uh, who have left high school without completing their high school diploma for whatever reason, helping them get back and really personalizing their high school completion experience and again, helping them get to, uh, to their graduation point and then into a career path as they move forward. Yeah, that's incredible. And I really love what you're doing because you're really helping students realize that it's not too late. It's never too late to finish out their education and push them to be the person that they want to be in the future. Absolutely. Um, you know, high school is, is, is not going to be the thing that's going to get most people to where they want to go in life, but it is a critical step. And so you got to complete that step and then figure out what the next step is. And we want to help them do both complete that step of high school and then figure out what the next step is for them to get into a college or career pathway. Awesome. Well, you definitely have some unique programs going on here, but what would you really highlight as three things that make these schools stand out from the rest? Absolutely. Well, first and foremost, I would say our teachers uh, who, who go above and beyond to help our students uh, re-engage in their learning and then get themselves onto that career path. The other, uh, other unique thing about SciTech uh, would be the personalized learning experience our students have. Every student gets uh, a individualized learning plan um, that they sit down with their mentor teachers and figure out what's it gonna take for them to complete their high school diploma and then what's it gonna take for them to make that next step into their college career pathways. Um, and then uh, overall, I would say uh, the third piece being uh, the uh, connections to uh, the community uh, in terms of uh, accessing services and supports that they might not have other, otherwise have access to. And so um, those are three things I think they really set us apart. Yeah, and just meeting your students, it's so clear that this is such a special place to them because they are able to get their high school diploma and do it in a way that's meaningful for them. Whether that looks like the independent study or working from home on the days that they need to. So it can really work with their schedule and they never give up on themselves. Indeed, and, and you, you speak to the flexibility, right? And so our students can come in and we encourage them to come in and work with their teachers side by side. But we recognize that a lot of our students don't have the capacity to come in. And so working from home works best for them. And so giving them the flexibility to be able to be in person uh, or be at home and work any time on their assignments uh, and move through their high school diploma, um, you know, really sets us apart. And we believe gives those young people the best opportunities to achieve their goals. Oh, 100%. So I'm here with Mariah. She is a junior here. So Mariah, can you tell me a little bit about your experience here at SciTech and what you like about it? Uh, my experience at SciTech has actually been great. Um, I love the fact that I am 24 years old and I still have the opportunity to get my high school diploma. I love that I can work at my own pace and I love that I can work from home as well. That's awesome. You know, it's really independent here. Yes. And that's super great. You know, as a 24 year old, you have the opportunity to really set yourself up for success, but in a way that is meaningful to you. Yes, and I love it. And it works around my schedule for my kids as well. So I love it. It's great here. I love that. So I'm also joined by Mr. Bowen. You're a teacher of the career and technical education. So you're really with the students day in and day out. So how would you describe the teaching and the learning style here? Well, the teaching and learning style is one of comfort, one of uh, empathy. We know what the students are coming in with in terms of their aces, what their backgrounds, what their ethnicities are. And we try to put all of that in a basket and say, hey, this is day one. You're coming in at zero. And we want you to uh, attach your goals here and let us know what you want to do. So whether it's vocational, whether it's military, whether it's four year, two year, 
we want to really come in and get that connection with the student right off the back and find out where they want to go. So the teaching style is one of, like I said, one of empathy. Um, all the pedagogy styles are embed embedded in what we do. So it's really uh, upon us to come in and have that uh, role of mentorship when we're talking with our students. Um, accountability is, is one thing that we want to get on. Academic integrity is another. Uh, we want them to leave here knowing that that, that high school diploma that they're taking can take them anywhere. So the style is really one where we want to have them come in and feel comfortable, safe learning environment, and just feel good about themselves because we know when they come here, there's a lot of time that they're not feeling that way. Well, it was really inspiring. Speaking to some of the students, they describe this place as peaceful. It's a place where they know that they can get their independent study done and make sure that they're on track to reach those goals that you're talking about. Well, I think Dr. Mims mentioned it and our site lead will, will touch on it as well. It's a very flexible program. You can either do come in and get the work done that you need. Um, for example, some of the students may not be as strong in a subject like math. So you can come in here and get that one-on-one -on -one math instruction. And then when you leave, you can go home and do an English class. So the flexibility of the program is probably one of the bedrocks of what we have here at SciTech. But again, I think the First and foremost thing is the connection with the students. Yeah, and that's, you know, that's super important since you are offering these classes, you know, to 16 to 24 year olds, being able to have that independence of like, this is what I want to go in for, this is what I want to be home for, really also sets them up for success. Well, forward. again, Kayla, correct? Yes. Well, uh, the students come in, some may be parents, some may be minors. So the, the main thing is just to get that accountability and let them know, hey, I don't, we don't mind as much where you come from, it's where you're gonna go. And then if you come in and you do the, the work and, you're, and you're, you're held to that standard that we set here for you, you can go anywhere. Absolutely. Yeah. So this is Andrew. He is a senior here at SciTech. So Andrew, can you tell me a little bit about your experience here and what you like about it? Uh, I've been here for about like two years already. Um, I'm a senior, I have, a, I have an IEP, so I do have a little sl slow learning disorder. So, I mean, I like coming here. It, it's quiet, very peaceful in school. I used to get distracted a lot, like big crowds, too many people. I, I needed something more independent. So I came here two years ago, changed my life. I used to start off at the other location, decided still to come here. Still is a farther, it is more farther, but the school is more worth it, right? Than going to a regular district where classes are packed with 30, 40 kids rather than here where you get one-on-one -on -one help. Yeah, that's incredible. and. It really sounds like they're giving you all the tools yeah. and the support that you really need yeah. to be the best right, version right. of yourself. Yeah. Do you know what you want to maybe do next year after your senior year? I am. I, am, I want to do a veterinarian assistant. Oh, awesome. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. I really like to work with animals. Okay. That'll be great. I'm sure you'll make a great vet yeah. assistant. Thank you. <laughs> now I'm joined by Mr. Garcia. He's the principal at SciTech Pico Union. So I'd love to hear a little bit more about this site and your community surrounding. So Site Pico Union has been in this area for the last six years. Uh, we started down on Alvarado on the Olympic and last year we relocated here. Uh, we have a lot of students that are from the area, majority Hispanic students uh, that are first generation, that for some reason or another were not able to acquire the high school diploma through a traditional means. Um, as a result, they end up with us we also get a lot of students from Los Angeles Job Corps who don't make the, don't complete the program there and they'll come to us to complete the high school diploma as well. Yeah, that's incredible. And, you know, even as a small school, you guys really do have a lot of facilities to support these students. Can you tell me a little bit about this lab that we're in? Right. So in partnership with Paxton Peterson, we're, we're launching our career technical education portion of our curriculum in which we are trying to give students the experience of working in a, in a health environment as well as piloting drones or some uh, manufacturing uh, experience so that when they graduate, they're able to uh, matriculate at a community college and earn those credentials needed to go towards those career pathways. Oh, absolutely. And I really love how you're using this campus that you have and your connection with your students and your community partnerships as well to all come together to really set them up for success. Yeah, uh, it's, um, it's a partnership. It's a I get it from the quote of it takes a village to grow a child. Mm -hmm. So it's not only one staff member working in isolation with one student. We're all working together to pull our resources, to send our student support specialists over into the community to get those partnerships needed so that we can provide students with childcare, with uh, uh, shelter when, when uh, some of our students go homeless. 
uh, and to make sure that we're addressing uh, foster care issues and making sure that our students get not only the best instructional experience from us, but also that they're able to do it without having to worry about all these other issues that historically have prevented them from completing the program. Yeah, that's great you guys are doing that. You know, thank you. It is. It, it's, a, it's a fulfilling experience in my experience with this campus, as well as the other one that I, that I direct in, in Boa Heights, East LA. It's, um, it's the effort of everybody coming together and, and pulling each student to their full potential. Yeah, absolutely. Mm -hmm. So then for students who might be interested in enrolling here mm -hmm. to finish their high school diploma, where can they learn more information? Well, fortunately, we are open enrollment. So students, if they happen to uh, drop, drop out or leave their high school, they can always come to www.sidepick.org forward slash enroll uh, to find out more information about enrolling at the Pico Union site. And once they have that information, they can go to enroll.sidepick.org to fill out that information. Awesome. And you can also head to scola.com to learn more information. Thank you again so much for having us today. Thank you very much. My pleasure. Well, that's a wrap at SciTech Pico Union. Make sure you like and subscribe, and we'll see you guys at the next school.